artists in South Africa to fulfill their dreams of becoming renowned artists. Now in its 30th year, the Sibigua Art Center has become the home of artists of all ages from different communities and has played a central role in transformation and advancing the arts in South Africa. The Pinoni Base Center is one of the oldest community art centers in the country. It was the brainchild of Small Daba and Phyllis Kloss, who saw the need of the advancement of promoting arts and preserving heritage. And they join me now in studio to tell us more about reaching such a huge milestone. A very good morning to you too. Thank morning. you so much for joining us and welcome. Good morning. <laughs> now, Phyllis, I'm going to start with you. You opened the center 30 years ago, and I suppose the preservation of uh, the arts, the culture, and the heritage remained central in your lives. Why is that? Um, well, first of all, we opened 30 years ago during a very, very different time. And it was then, and still is, about training marginalized youth, uh, people from the lower socioeconomic backgrounds. And it still is that. And part of that is also developing a new canon of South African work, which is contemporary and reflects the society as it is today, as it was then. Sadly, some of the issues still remain, but it's always been the core of what we do. Yeah. Yeah. Baba you live art, you breathe art, and uh, I suppose it still remains a part of your life. Yes, uh, it still remains a part of my life. Besides the fact that uh, it, uh, we've been going on for 30 years, mm. I still feel that I could go on for another 30 years. <laughs> right. But now I'm, I'm out of uh, that space. Yeah. Mm. Okay, take us through some of the success stories that uh, you've been getting from some of the artists who've been part of this center. Well, first of all, uh, we've changed people's lives for the last 30 years. Many people, you know, uh, who were, were not uh, thinking of having a better life. Mm. But through us, they, are, they were able to, be, to become people that uh, are respected in our, 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 our society. So you find that, for instance, uh, a boy doesn't have a vision of having you know, reaching the stars. But then through Sibigua, you find that the person starts thinking properly now and uh, getting aligned with everything and reaching whatever he wanted to reach. Mm. So to change people's life and all that has been our... Uh, besides, you know, having good artists like... Uh, you know, we've got so many people who went through Sibigua who are artists, good artists today. Okay. So th I, I can't even mention <laughs> the number at the moment. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. Now, Phyllis... Uh, 30 years ago, I mean, 30 years later, and uh, in a totally different political dispensation, the center is still standing. What has kept you going? What has made it uh, uh, so relevant today? Well, I think Small and I are passionate about using the arts as a development tool, using the art and arts education as a development tool for the individual and also for the community. So that's our passion. Um, we're very engaged. We we work all the time to maintain the center, which of course has been a very rocky road. You know, mm. we're an NGO, so it's up and it's down, and and financially it's difficult at times, and then it's easy. So it's passion, dedication, and also I think the ability to, when you down, get up, shake yourself off, and start all over again. Yeah. And how yeah. have the funding pertains been? It's difficult, you know. I imagine, As I yeah. said, it's uh, it's feast, it's famine, it's the middle road. It, it, it's a whole compass of things that uh, it's difficult. It's very yeah. difficult. Mm. So you never guaranteed anything. Mm. Yes, yes. And that's the problem. You can't. Some funders, very rare, will fund you for three years, so you can actually plan ahead. Others, you kind of rock and roll from year to year. Okay. Yeah. Babindaba, what kind of projects are you now embarking on and what can people expect to see? Well, at the moment we are looking at uh, serving the pensioners, the old people, because they've always been neglected, you know. So we are trying to work on something uh, that can offer them, you know, you know a space too, to be, to be uh, counted as uh, audiences. Okay. So we are doing a play now which is about that. It's called uh, Begezela Uzokanya. It means uh, persevere.
things will be okay. okay. So it's just giving them hope, actually. They mustn't, you know, lose yeah. hope. True. And the young girls, too, who are getting grants, we try to make them aware of the fact that they can go back to school and learn more and forget about the grants that they're getting, which is almost nothing, 300 mm -hmm. rand or so, mm -hmm. but think ahead that they must improve themselves and get better jobs and support their kids. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's what we are thinking of doing now at the moment. Mm. All right. Phyllis mm -hmm. and Babadaba, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Mm -hmm.